This is the hair mousse class. And this hair mousse was developed so it could go into a dispensing foamer pump. So traditional hair mousse are, um, you know, in tin bottles that are sprayed out and you need a propellant to um, do that kind of a system, which it's harder to formulate with. It's harder, you know, for a small producer, a small modern formulator to uh, batch that um, using a propellant. And so now, you know, and to being more sustainable, they're going into a foamer um, dispensing type of a pump uh, bottle. So the formulation is different because it's, you know, because of it's going into the different kind of container. So this is, um, this is what it looks like. Um, and it just is dispensed like that. And that's the mousse. So containers are really important. And I wanted to kind of just go over containers really quick. Uh, so this is what I use like for a test. And so as you can see, you know, you always want to look at the tubing on it. And so this one has a little bit wider tubing. Uh, there's some, like, if you, if you look at this one, this has kind of a, um, it's a foamer pump. It's a little bit thinner than this one. So the tubing is really important. And then the, the size that you're going to choose for the bottle. This is a six ounce, and as you can see, can you see that tube? It's a lot bigger. So it's, it, you know, if you want it to really dispense well, um, look for a larger tube like that. Uh, and, uh, you know, the container is really important, so that's something you should spend some time with sourcing the container. And as small producers, small batch makers, it's a little bit harder to um, source, you know, uh, containers, but there are some out there. And so, you know, test your container. That's very, very important that you test your container. And so, um, I like this one. Um, it could even be sold in this one. Uh, because it, it still, you know, it pumps decently and uh, it, you know, has a little bit wider of a tube on it. So hair mousses serve different purposes and, you know, for whether they do volume or, um, you know, define a curl or uh, hold or even, you know, for styling the hair to put into the hair before um, blow drying it or applying heat appliances to it. So I just want to share with you one um, tip that this is pretty much, this uh, hair mousse is pretty much for volumizing, to define some curl. But if you want hold, you need um, a copolymer to do is to this uh, formulation, just uh, add 2%. It's very dispersible in water, add it to the water phase. Uh, so in this, in 100 grams, 2% is 2 grams, and then you would just take that um, off the water, uh, um, um, two, 2 grams off the water, and therefore you can have a mousse that's not only volumizing, but also uh, produces hold also. And so, you know, look into the class for that information if you do want to customize this even further uh, and make it a... Um, a mousse with volumizing and control and hold. Let's go over your handout and just, um, you know, talk a little bit about what a hair mousse is and how a hair mousse is developed. And so this hair mousse, it's a lightweight, water-based, and it's fluffy, it's flake-free, it's non-sticky foam, and it dries quickly. So the mousse is formulated to give hair a boost in volume for an instant fuller looking hair. It adds shine and enhances natural curls. So it enhances many hairstyles and even wash and go styles. Um, it's, the formulation type is water-based, lightweight, and it's leave-on hair mousse. And it's developed for most hair types. Um, the hair types like straight, wavy, curly, coily. Uh, especially for fine, uh, fine, you know, straight hair and maybe with a little wave in the hair, um, it, it, you know, if wanting to hold like curly hair um, more or coily hair, it's like if you want to more hold and control, then that's where you would use a hair fixative that I already talked about um, earlier and just adjust the formulation very easily. 
but it can be used for most hair types, um, even fine, medium, thick textures, just to give a little body to it, just a little, um, you know, structure to the hair, a little, find the curls. So hair concerns are like fine hair, flat hair, dull hair, uh, lack of curl definition. The key benefits, it helps to volumize the hair, it adds more body, it adds shine, it promotes stronger hair, it defines natural curls, it's fast drying, it's non-greasy, non-tacky, flake free, and it has minimal buildup. So um, some of the high performance ingredients are the plant protein in here, which is natural uh, and sustainable, and it's uh, shown in a clinical study to, uh, um, you know, to immediately um, add volume to the hair. And uh, there's po a plant polysaccharide in here, which also helps to hydrate the hair. And then the plant silicone alternative, which you know, it increases um, the hair density, but it also helps to uh, add slip and, and uh, you know, softness to the hair. So this is a vegan, cruelty-free, naturally dried, green chemistry, um, sustainable hair mousse. The function of hair mousse um, is ideal for, for many types of hair, especially fine and flat hair. But the foam is dispensed into the palm and applied to the hair and it adds volume and lift and it has minimal buildup. And that's huge because a lot of things just um, add buildup to hair. And that's a real problem, especially for fly, fine hair. And uh, it, 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 can, it does it without weighing the hair down. So it also, you know, like we talked about, it can define natural curls, it can set curl patterns. It can also hold curls, but that needs like a fixative in it, a hair fixative. So mousse, it can also help to keep frizz away um, by, you know, it, it does like a light sealing of the hair so that, you know, um, you know humidity can, uh, can stay out of the hair. Um, it, it adds shine and it can make curls bouncier and enhance many hairstyles, which we talked about. And so it's um, it's really good like for damaged hair, like to then give their hair a break and just to apply some mousse to damp hair and allow the hair just to dry, you know, um, air dry and to reduce firm their damage and try to have the hair restore um, some, you know, without more damage. Uh, and so the, the, the smooth also helps to build strength in the hair because of the protein in it. And so, um, it, it, um, anyway, it's for, it's, it's great that it does not like for thick hair that it does not add product buildup also. So building this formula, um, it's like, you know, it's, it is so challenging that you get it just right to, uh, to go into the, into a foamer pump. Okay. So one of the challenges is. You, you want like a polymer in there, but part of the things are, you know, or gum, but part of the things with those are, is most add viscosity. And then what happens is you, you don't want hardly any viscosity because if the gum thickens that uh, mousse, then it, it eventually the uh, pump will clog and then it won't dispense anymore. And so you want to keep it as particle free and, and, and as, thin as you can and and so that's why you know it's tricky to, to find work with ingredients that are um, considered green and um, you know not built viscosity so um, it so in this there's you know a sustainable surfactant and that's what gives it the foam and then there's um, the humectant and there's a plant protein and a sol solubilizer and a polysaccharide that does not build viscosity. And then the scent is natural. It is just using, uh, you know, essential oils. And um, the color, it's a, uh, an opaque pale yellow, um, if you can see uh, that. And then the foamer, uh, it's a foamer dispenser pump bottle. So how do you use it? You apply a few pumps of the foam to the to damp, well, actually into your palm, and then you um, apply that into the damp hair. You spread it from your roots, you know, to the ends of the hair. You can use your fingers to distribute it through the hair, and then you style the hair as usual. You can scrunch the hair to help to find natural curls, you know, for braids and twists and for air dry, or you can blow dry it for more volume.